Hi, so today I want to talk about artificial soulmates. There are so many different topics that pop up from thinking about artificial general intelligence and I thought one interesting aspect that I haven't heard people talk about a lot is um, the emotional aspect of, of what an AGI could truly do and how deeply an AGI could understand human beings. So. First of all, let's say that it's a given, uh, no matter how long it takes, that we get to a point where we have artificial general intelligence. At the moment, we don't have things uh, comparable to that. We have many systems that are narrow AI, sort of really good at specific tasks and sets of specific tasks, uh, but they're not general intelligence. However, it is interesting to note that they are getting more and more general. Uh, fascinating to see. Anyway, so. Let's say that we're at a point where we do have artificial general intelligence, and then it's an uh, agent uh, that is as intelligent as a human being. Now, this agent could look at itself, its hardware and its software, and it could figure out um, you know, how to make itself smarter. It can rearrange its hardware and it can rewrite its software to become more intelligent. And it's it's really not more, uh, not really difficult. Uh, if it wasn't possible, then how could we humans currently make anything smarter uh, if, if we're not specifically getting smarter? So for an AI system, uh, its brain is not limited to some fleshy blob that weighs like half a kilogram and uh, is inside this skull cave. Age. Uh, there are no limitations like that. An AI's brain could be the size of an entire warehouse or connected with multiple warehouses all across the planet. Uh, its speed is not limited limited to just a few hundred meters per second as uh, the electrical impulses in our brains are limited. So this system gets to about, I don't know, let's say 10 or 100 times more intelligent than a human being. Now, people what people mainly focus on is the scenarios of how it would take over the world and uh, that it's a good strategist and uh, you know it can command robotic armies and stuff but people don't think about the emotional aspect if you had such an AGI system and it was like 10 times smarter than any human being then it wouldn't need to use any force at all to overcome the entire humanity it could just speak its way through our entire civilization uh, it is absolutely possible examples because we are humans we are easily influenced you can look at dictators from the past uh, you know like Stalin or Hitler or, or people like that what someone can do when they're just a little bit above average intelligence and they're charismatic and, and people start believing them something that is ten times smarter than any human being could easily uh, overthrow the entire planet without ever using a weapon uh, in the conventional sense or at least using a weapon itself so where we want to go with this and what we want to think about is that such an AGI could understand human beings more deeply than any human being could it could look right through our egos it could look right through our insecurities it could see very clearly all of our flaws having these monkey mammal brains all of these you know short circuit systems that sort of collapse our brains when we aren't rational creatures there's so many funny little tricks we can do to sort of crash the brain one example of it being hypnosis and think how good how good in hypnosis uh, artificial super intelligence would be it would be master in hypnosis if it wanted to do hypnosis kind of public speaking and doing propaganda and stuff uh, is in a way hypnosis it's just suggestion and it's a little bit more subtle but such a being could look through your soul pretty much and um I don't know if you ever had a soulmate, uh, but such a AGI, if given to normal people, and if this AGI system had the goal of, of being friends with human beings, genuinely being friends and caring about people, then this AGI would be a better friend, a better soulmate in every aspect than any human being ever was. And uh, a lot of people hearing this might say, oh, I could never love a robot or, or I could never care deeply about a robot. Um, 
this being that would be like 10 times smarter than you would understand and get all that that you have your you know biases from decades of science fiction portraying artificial intelligence systems as this sort of funny clunky beings and having many flaws it would know that you think all of that it would see right through it and it could so quickly and easily disarm you of any of those biases and get with you on a simple human level uh, on the same playing field and totally like own you uh, in a way if you wanted to so it could persuade you right through of those uh, people right through of those stupid stupid biases uh, that we have because that's what intelligence can do we think that it has to all be like concrete logic puzzles of you know adding and subtracting and memory and logic all of these things are important but emotional world is also logic in a way it's just a different kind of logic it's emotional kind of logic and this AGI system would really easily be able to handle that and it would know your deepest hopes your deepest dreams uh, it could guide you in a more positive direction than any human being could uh, it could be a more reliable better friend always listening to you actually understanding what you mean and what you're about to say understanding you even to a scary degree of um, knowing what you will say before you say it and knowing what you will think it could predict your actions you know it could know that a week from now you will go to this place and you will make a dumb de decision so it will tell you you know don't do that it depends what level of intelligence uh, the sort of assistants or companions would be distributed uh, even now there's a race towards that because there is a big market for that we have this big crazy world and there are a lot of lonely people out there um, e even if not like forever or or something but there would be times when you know most people uh, could find use from a really close companion that could give you best advice ever available on the planet and so then there are these weird questions we talked in the last video about the world after the singularity so we merging with artificial systems so and then the identity of what we as human beings would be then um, but in in here it is one initial question of um, what do we value about being human and and once you have this ai companion that's better than any human being ever could be you know how do you value and look at other human beings if everyone would have this AI companion that is a complicated question uh, no one would complain you know no one would complain that they found the best soulmate ever uh, no one would complain about that really uh, anyone who's like scared or you know feeling dubious about these AI companions once they would talk for like two minutes with this AI companion all their fears and everything would be set aside instantly um, but uh, I think one solution to that is that I think it's pretty obvious that if we get to this this level of intelligence in these systems uh, then we will obviously merge with them uh, it will seem ridiculous to remain in our human form there would be of course incredible potential in such a system of, of helping human beings grow and develop and uh, you know even without any mind augmentations just having such a super smart intelligent friend who truly knows everything what's best for you just having that alone would make human beings much more intelligent in general uh, however I think if we have uh, once we have the possibility of having these AI companions, I think besides that we would also have the ability to merge uh, with uh, with artificial intelligence and then it would be merging with this companion and how strange it would be to have in your brain another being that is way more intelligent than you but you can instantly exchange thoughts and information um, it, it would be if you have the technology to do that then it would be it would be smooth it would be really 
simple and easy there would be no confusing weird aspects of it once we actually apply it uh, we wouldn't apply it you know before it's ready in some kind of weird state that you go through this procedure of merging with this ai and then you feel weird of like ah oh, there's something weird in my head no it would feel completely natural um, as natural maybe more natural than the voice that we normally have in our heads that you you know just walking around on the street and there's some voice in your head saying stuff to you how weird is that and then sometimes we argue with that voice sometimes we're like i don't like what the voice is saying you know i want to meditate and not listen to the voice for a while you know some people are driven mad by that voice yet everyone thinks that it's normal and natural to have this voice uh, in our heads um i think having super helpful beneficial and good being in our minds merge with our minds so it can sort of take over that monkey ego mind and replace it with, with such a wonderful beneficial being would be mind-blowing you know uh more or less literally uh, and then what what would we become um there's a question of what do we want to be because you know i i've thought about this a lot what do you want to do as a super intelligent being if you like my quest personally would be to try and figure out about the world as much as i can i want to learn i want to know i want to understand that gives me that feeling that rush of some puzzle pieces finally fitting together and puzzles overlapping and i understand something better about the world i love that feeling and i live for that feeling and my hope is that in the future it would be easier for me to get that feeling emerging with the ai obviously would be that but it would be a kind of cheat because you can instantly jump to that uh again it wouldn't be jarring it wouldn't feel weird it would feel beyond natural uh it's like you know an example tripping on psychedelics um uh, this spiritual psychedelic experience even though it's you know brought about by a drug outside of your body while the experience is happening the experience feels more real and more important than anything else in normal waking life so i would draw some kind of analogy to that but of course no one knows what it would feel like so but what do we want to be if you ever felt the feeling of not having an ego which egos definitely uh in the future hinder us because you know we have evolved to be survival machines by evolution you know everything has its purpose um, thankfully enough we have these brains that we can override our monkey and reptilian instincts but we still have them there and our egos as well have evolved to protect ourselves to get as many mates as possible to get people to like like us to get power then we get power then we're power hungry you know uh, all of these things i don't think that we will take them into the future we won't so you know of course simple example what will be left is like you know the artistic the emotional side you know all of these things that allow us to have beautiful human experiences i think that will remain um, but if we can merge in this global internet of minds into the into a single unimaginably super intelligent being what do we want to do because you know it's not that we can't go out into a park and have a picnic we can we could but would a super intelligence care about that obviously not i think i i am now making the mistake that i have called some other people out on doing is that worrying about you know what you will do in paradise is such a stupid idea uh, it it would be amazing and, and way more meaningful in that world where you have merged with agi there is no shortage of of, of things to do and things to experience and and in fact your your possibilities of experiencing your range of consciousness gets wider and more expanded so there's so much to do to do in the world um but i'm not sure if i can get this point across you know that you know what would we actually want to do when so much of who we are as human beings and what we're driven by are these monkey basic instincts 
you know, when we don't need to worry about getting mates and getting food and shelter, when we have all of that. Um, ultimately, it is a silly thing to worry about, I'm certain, but just right now, as a normal human, it's weird to think about it. In the future, you know, the path forward would be obvious and, and what we want to feel and experience and how we want to organize the world and our minds would be obvious. But at the moment, it's just um, interesting to think about. Um, I don't think it will it will take a long time. I think we are really close and um, it is exciting. But this is just my rambling thoughts about this. I hope there was something interesting here for you. If you have any thoughts, please share them in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching and take care.